Hey, so I'm uh, here in my car about to head to work and you guys uh, remember this uh, charger that I uh, made a video about? Well, and uh, you probably saw me with the uh, this little USB tester. And this thing claimed, the charger claimed that it can do a whole bunch of stuff. So let's take a look if it really does. Here it says automatic detection. If you, oh, come on, focus, focus. There you go. I'm just going to lower the thing. Um, automatic detection. It will tell me, it will tell us all of the uh, protocols that it will support. And look, PD 3.0, 100 watts. I played with this with other chargers and stuff and this car charger is very impressive. Look at how much of that protocol, uh, all those protocols are being supported. I haven't had a charger that supports this much. The Apple standard, the BC standard, that's normal. The PD standard, all the way up to 3.0 at 100 watts. It even does like the proprietary ones like Samsung and Huawei and um, Let's see, it doesn't do any of the, so those VOOC, I believe that's actually one plus and warp. That's that, you know, warp and that's, that's, uh, all of this is, is, um, what do you call one plus stuff, but that's the only one they didn't they support. Surprisingly, oh, now it goes dimmer, the screen, so let me raise that. Um, so surprisingly, it doesn't do quick charge four or anything, it goes up to, 3.0, which by the way, it's, I believe 3.0 is um, variable. Oh, I'm sorry, it does support 4.0, but just not 4.0 plus and 5.0, which I guess is super new. I'm not really sure what PE and PE, you know, PE plus 1.1 and 2.0 are, but I'll have to check that out. But uh, just a really quick short video on this. <laughs> um... And, uh, yeah, I really, really think that's pretty cool. I'm glad I got it. Now, can it actually supply 100, per, uh, 100 watts? Even though it says it can, does not necessarily mean that it will. I have a feeling it will, though, because at 65 watts, I can charge my laptop because that's all it can pull anyways because that's what my Ultrabooks are really made to pull. And it was barely warm. It was still warm, but it was barely warm. Uh, why is the why is the video shaky? I guess when it's closer. Anyways, um, at 100 watts, I bet you it might get even a more uncomfortably warm. But I don't know; it'll be dangerous. At 65 watts, it wasn't. So that's another 35 watts. So we'll see. Uh, I don't have anything that's 100 watt, but I I, I just pre-ordered a uh, Framework 16 laptop that can charge at 100 watts. It can charge at 180 actually with the GPU running. So let's see if it can really stress this out. Did I just buy a framework just to test this? No, I've been eyeing it for a while now, but it's just a good opportunity, I guess, to play around with this. It also gives me an opportunity to play with the um, framework power supply because they made a very compact for its size, by the way. A very compact 180 watt charger um, it looks very impressive if you haven't checked it out uh, look go to their website and check it out uh, they already have a 65 watt that was pretty small and the 180 looks very very small so and it's also a USB-C um, charger as a bonus oh my gosh guys I this battery bank was looking fine a day before and I started using this to test, you know, the, te the the USB tester and everything. And then after I did that, on the very next day, it started bloating. I took it out to the garage because like, I'm not going to keep this in the house. And I'm, today I'm going to work to get put this in the recycle bin. And it got even bigger. So wish me luck. I hope it doesn't burst and fire on me on the way to work. So, all right. That's it. Bye, guys.